Well, um, a republic is headed by an executive president. Um, a republic is fully sovereign, meaning that all policies, all decisions, all actions concerning the running of that government you know, emanate from the executive um, with the support um, of the parliament. A Republican nation was the vision of Gambian leaders shortly after independence in 1965. But initial attempts to establish one were fruitless. After the referendum failed to receive the two-third majority to amend the constitution. However, former President Sadawda Kairaba Jawara and his team never relented in their drive to attain sovereignty. Sadawda insisted that Gambia and his people have the right to rule themselves. And they fought hard. Of course, they were, they were assisted by other people, like Small, Edward Francis Small, Bread and Butter. These people were the agitators at the time. We had a number of them. But because of um, our you know, sincere you know, adherence to you know, the visits of the you know, Gambian people, the cabinet and Sadala decided that they were not going to take that um, I mean, I mean path, that they were going to be patient, and at the right time, they will seek the mandate of the Gambian people again to become a republic. April 24, 1970, witnessed the birth of an improbable nation as the Gambia became a republic within the Commonwealth after another attempt by Jawara and his team. The historic moment and national breakthrough is still fresh in memories. Republican Day is a date when we should be celebrating because this is when things were handed over to us. Homegrown things were made. The constitution is homegrown. By that I mean everything inside that constitution was drafted by the people of this country for their interest to continue with, with, their, with their country. Sovereignty came with challenges and fears, as the opposition at the time thought things could go wrong. But in the, the end, end of the, the Jawara administration of defied the odds. Um, when we became a republic, um, there was a determined effort by our leaders you know, to strengthen you know, our multi-party democratic system, to strengthen the I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, free and diverse press you know, that we had to strengthen also our respect for human rights and the rule of law, you know, which is why um, by the mid-70s, the Gambia was synonymous with all the good attributes of multi-party democracy, the rule of law, and respect for human and people's rights, you know, which is why, in fact, our capital became the capital of human rights in Africa. Yes. Historians like the Director okay. General of the National like, Center for Arts and uh, Culture, Hasum Sisi, and former parliamentarian and minister under the Jawara government, Honorable James Alkali Gay, yeah. who still hold and fresh memories of these events, believe that April 24 deserves more national recognition. It seems as if that was the day we cut off the chain. We were slaves at that time under the British government. So if there is to be any celebration, I think we should be celebrating April 24th as our independent day. As a republic, and that was really the beginning of our march, okay? I mean, I mean, as a free, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, people who had, I mean, I mean, the, if you like, the moral authority, you know, to chart our own course. So I think 24th April 1970, um, should be celebrated as Republic Day with all the respect you know, that it deserves. 53 years since the Gambia gained autonomy from the British, there have been some gainful advances in the Fourth, Second and Third Republic, but more is still needed to further actualize the dreams of the Gambian populace. Farmer Abadi, GRTS News.